Good evening. Uh, recently, I did a video discussing uh, the fact that uh, Spurgeon, in his commentary on 1 Timothy 2.4, recognized that the word all there meant all without exception. And uh, Calvin also had that same view, again, with 2 Peter 3.9. And uh, in, this, uh, in his commentary here, he writes, Not willing that any should perish. So wonderful is his love toward mankind that it would have them all to be saved. And as if his own will, his own self prepared to bestow salvation on the lost, but the order is to be noticed that God is ready to receive all to repentance so that none may perish. And for in these words, the way, the manner of obtaining salvation is pointed out. Every one of us, therefore, is desirous of salvation, must learn to enter in by this way. But it may be asked, if God wishes none to perish, why is it that so many do perish? To this, my answer is that no mention is made here of the hidden purpose of God, according to which to reprobate or doom to their own ruin, for only for his will as made known to us in the gospel. So according to uh, Calvin here is that when you're reading these passages that uh, put a universal appeal out to mankind, you know, you can't believe it because uh, according to Calvin uh, and the Calvinists, there's a hidden agenda to God that's really on the, on the, uh, underlying uh, what you're reading. And so when the Calvinists go all, uh, out of their way to twist these scriptures, and to try to say they uh, try to mean try to make them mean something they don't uh, mean. Uh, in fact, Calvin's admitting that there are passages that say just that that there are, they, these are universal appeals, but you just don't can't believe them, and that therefore people should ignore them, knowing that there's a hidden purpose of God that uh, lies underneath these words. And uh, this is why uh, Calvinism is such a uh, uh, a false uh, view, a false theology that uh, ignores the true words of God, uh, does its best to twist them out of, out of context, rest them, rest them to their own destruction, rest, them, uh, rest these words so they don't make any sense, and then then claim that there's really a hidden purpose of God when they have to, when they do run into a verse that they can't explain, such as Spurgeon did in 1 Timothy 2, 4, and then Calvin here with 2 Peter 3, 9, when they have to admit that in fact uh, all means all that exception that was God's will, that none perish. It was God's will that all come to repentance. It was God's will that all be saved in First Timothy 2, 4. Uh, he says here, but for God there stretches forth his hand without a difference to all. So he's saying here, God's appealing to all. And this is, you can see this stuff we're talking Calvinists. I mean, you know, James White says, oh, the gospel of that's all men. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just some, you know, the, the, the uh, only the elect can to respond to it. So it's a false view that somehow that the, uh, it's still going out. Uh, when, you, when in fact it's God deciding who's going to respond to it and who's not. But lays hold only of those who, uh, to lead them to himself, whom he has chosen before the foundation of the world. So, um, Calvin admits that the all means all without exception in 2 Peter 3 9, and that God's will, that none perish, but of course he has to then fall back on his hidden purpose and ignore the true words of God and the scriptures. And that's what these, uh, Calvinists always have to do when they can't rest. Uh, the word, the universal appeal of salvation to all men, and that all men are able to be saved if they will receive the free gift of salvation uh, and uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They can't rest those verses by some clever manipulation of the language. Uh, then they just want that recognize that it is a universal appeal, but then they say, well, uh, God um, uh, has chosen those who he's going to chose, and that uh, uh, therefore, that the uh, you have to ignore those words, and uh, the uh, truth, uh, the, the true words, uh, are really just a uh, a facade, a veneer that God put up there to uh, uh, to deceive mankind into thinking that God really wants all men to be saved. When in fact, that's exactly what He said. Amen. Thank you.